Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Okami. Uh, last time, we finished lifting the miasma plaguing the city by defeating Blight, who turned out to be a vestige of Orochi shrunk down, uh, and who was living parasitically inside of the Emperor. Ooh, a lacquerware set. Uh, there are so many treasure chests buried out here. If you want an easier time finding all of them, you should draw a moon in the sky and turn day to night because treasures are way easier to uncover. I'm not going after all of these. Uh, there are simply too many in the Emperor's Garden, and that would take forever. I might do this on my off time, though. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, life has returned to the city. So now there is a lot we can do here. Uh, if you like side stuff, and Seon is huge on that. And we are going to do some of the real good stuff. Uh, but first, we're going to have a little stroll around the place at full size. Uh, talk to the to, uh, talk to the guards and see if we can spot anything cool. Which, spoilers, we can. We just have to hope he finds time to roll between treasure hunting. So, take a look at this. This is the entire dungeon, including the guy who was sweeping. This is uh, the little water spout puzzle that we did. Ah, oh, it's so good. One of my favorite things about the dungeon is that it actually is this bit of the palace in miniature. They didn't just do a bunch of impossible space stuff. <laughs> it all actually checks out when you're full size here. Ah, that's cool. And so now, with all that out of the way, we're gonna head back into the city. Oh, yeah, I think this was the one who was nice to me, who said I was his good luck charm, maybe? I had a feeling you were in there. Oh, no, maybe it was this one. Yeah, the Emperor is back to his usual self, and Kaguya has been released. And speaking of Kaguya, uh, we're gonna catch up with her. Hey, Bamboo Girl! Jeez, it's Isu. <laughs> I hardly recognize you. You were so tiny when we first met. Certainly cut a dashing figure at full size. Oh no, don't feed his ego. The city is a dangerous place now. You should head back. Oh, the Emperor wants her treasure. You should get away before the other starts sniffing around. Plus, your grandpa seems awfully lonely, you know? Oh, she's not actually his granddaughter. It's more of a found family thing. I should say, that's actually kind of mean. I shouldn't say not actually. I don't even know who I am or where I came from. That's important because it's in red. Um, I should say that she isn't biologically his granddaughter. His found family is absolutely valid family. I do recall one faint memory. And you're gonna have to talk to me again if you want to hear about it. A small dark room long ago. That's all I can think about now. I feel I must get there as soon as I can. Can't escape that feeling. Can't escape from crossing fate! Together they form a vision. I see a royal crest inscribed in earth amid a grove of bamboo. I must go to Sasa Sanctuary. So that is going to be the location of the next leg of our journey. Uh, we're going to follow Kaguya there. However, we are not quite ready to leave the city yet. Uh, so we're going to leave Kaguya to go off on her own for a little bit. She should be fine getting to Sasa Sanctuary on her own. 
Uh, and in the meantime, we are actually going to take a little bit of a look around the city. There's not too much going on in the aristocrats quarter that I care about. Uh, nothing too interesting out here. Uh, the bulk of the action is going to be back in the commoners quarters where we first entered. I think there are a few things that we have to do here first, like using our new Veil of Mist ability to get past these otherwise vigilant sentries, giving us access to Himiko's palace for the very first time. This is my first time doing this in a while without my pop filter, so I hope I didn't just immediately go and pop a plosive. You also get a really nice view of the scenery. I love how, I, I adore how this game does backgrounds. Just this, these, these light suggestions of scenery in the distance. Like there's such an ethereal feel to it. Oh God, it's so cool. I've never ever seen that replicated in a game before. Or, I mean, I, I haven't seen that replicated since, which is amazing because Akami went on to be beloved and, and really influential. So, who is this? Handmaiden. Why, it really is you. Her Majesty Queen Himiko is foreseen your coming. Go to the top floor immediately. Uh, Himiko seems to be waiting for us. Even a boiling sea of flames won't stand in your way. We have heard that phrase before. There was something about a stone tablet and a sea of flame. Oh, the stray beads. Uh, since I just picked one up, uh, and before I forget again. Uh, I slightly misspoke way back when uh, about what you get for collecting all the stray beads. It's not the most powerful weapon in the game. It's the most powerful item in the game uh, because you equip it and you do 10 times as much damage and you have infinite health and ink. And now we see what everyone means by a sea of flames. The floor is literally hot lava. We will end up as a crispy critter, even as a god. So we have no means of going any, any further into the palace. So we're just going to have to keep the second part of what turned out to be a premonitory dream in mind. Uh, the thing about the stone tablet. But since we don't really have much of a lead on that just yet... They're pretty heavily funneling us towards Sasa Sanctuary. And who was it who first talked about the Sea of Flames and uh, the Stone Tablet? It was the Emperor while he was dreaming. Oh, another Daruma doll? Oh no, that's the wrong one. I did that again. <laughs> Aw, come on, friend. That must be perfect. All we got was a godly charm for that. That's fine. Would have preferred uh, a crystal or a lacquerware set. Or even some food. Like that, that delicious orange. I'm not sure if I ever adequately described how the Astral Pouch works and why it's good that I'm getting food here. Uh, so if you don't level it up with praise at all, uh, then it gives you one free revive, so long as you filled it up by collecting food previously. Uh, if you collect food when it's already full, it converts that into yen. Uh, and also, I upgraded my wallet finally, which I should have done a while back, especially because I think I hit the cap at one point and then I kept selling treasures and I just got nothing for that because I was already capped out on yen. Uh, but it goes from 99,000 to 999,000. 
to 9.9 million, and the final upgrade is going to be at 99 million yen. Oh, they're mad I slipped past them. I wish I could communicate to them that I could get past them anytime I want. So I think we are all done here in the aristocrats quarter. I'm gonna dig this up. This is the light it calls to me. That sweet, sweet moonlight. Oh, the distant mountains look even better at night. Outlined in blue against the black sky. Ah, that's so pretty. Oh my God. It's a real pleasure getting to re-experience Okami again. It's been so long. Do again, Wolf. Alright, so we are also going to pass by Rao again, since it's been a while since we talked to her. She was noticeably absent all throughout the, the saga we just went through, uh, all the way from getting the hammer up until killing Blight. And she's a night owl, so she doesn't mind having a full conversation with us in the dead of night. Yeah, why didn't why didn't she try to help? Couldn't her mystical powers have helped? Hey, hey, why didn't you help? I'm just a priestess. I can't go snooping around the imperial palace for no reason. On to the next problem. Just put a pin in that. Water dragon's a bigger problem. No trade ships can get through. City's food is running low. Oh yeah, there's still that. We still need the fox rods. Oh, is that it? Okay, let's talk about what she just said. She said it would be... It, it, she said that she can't just go poking around the palace. She's just a priestess. That's really suspicious, right? She's the queen's regent. She was appointed to be the queen's regent by the queen. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> I can't do that segue anymore without going into the into hullabaloo. Alright, now the fun can begin. There are at least two or three really big things I want to show out here. First, let's bring the sun out. And just kind of really wreak a whole lot of havoc on the, on the tides. So, bear with me just a little bit as I remember my way around this place. First, oh yeah, okay, I think this is the restaurant that I want to go to. So we're going to get the big one out of the way first, I think. We're getting ready for the lunch rush. Before I do anything else, I'm sure we can get some yen in here. Oh, wait, I don't think that's gonna work. That is not a Daruma doll. That's a big cute owl, though. That almost looks like a porg. Oh, I look at it and all I can see now is Jenny Nicholson and the giant porg. Damn. <laughs> I'm Yama, top chef, uh, top chef of Seon City. He's a cat boy. He is Okami's meowscular chef. 
Oh, that mushroom. That mushroom. The legendary golden mushroom spent decades trying to get it to refine the culinary arts. So, we actually started this one back in the first act of the game. We have that golden mushroom. We got it after we uh, played Whack-A-Mole for a bit. So it's time to finally pay that off. Of course we're gonna help Meow Skeeler Chef Yama by giving him a golden mushroom to put in his very hot stove to create the ultimate dish. Hey, what's that over on the left? Maybe it's important. I don't know. Oh, also, I've never showed this. <laughs> I don't think I've done that a single time this whole LP makes uh, bloom someone to make them pet me. That works on every NPC as far as I'm aware. All right, let's help Yama prepare the ultimate dish. He's gonna do his fanning the flame dance for his big dumb stove. But wait, it didn't work. We have to help. Using what symbol? Ah, oh, was it painted on the left? On a big banner? Hell yeah, it was. And look at that. It's Moegami again. We last saw Moegami back in uh, the Moon Cave when we got the Inferno ability. Manzil and your own pure arc have restored my power. I have harnessed his fervent energy to bestow upon you a new power. Unleash your wrath in a mighty fire burst. And in order to do that, we just draw the symbol. And we get a whole lot of yen. Rice stew eruption. 50 praise isn't bad either. This is just all around a really good side quest. Yeah, we can invoke that power anytime we want now. It is really powerful, especially against living things. And let's talk to him one more time. I'm so worried about the heat, I completely forgot about the taste. Yeah, he burnt, he burnt the dish with the super rare mushroom that he's been looking for for 20 years. And yet, it didn't dampen his spirits. God bless Yama. You meow skiller chef, you. <laughs> so, on top of the main 13 brush techniques, there are also secret sub techniques. Uh, we will get access to a bunch of those all at once, uh, not too long from now. But for the time being, this is going to be our first and only one. Uh, the second one will come when we actually have enough blue fangs. Uh, to trade in the Emperor for the Mist Warp ability that you get from the Fog Pot. Now, there are still a few more things around town that I want to do. I think this is another Accursed Digging minigame. I'm just keeping the gimmick, the gimmick up at this point because I discovered that I actually kind of like that. Uh, although it is time consuming. Now this... Yeah, out of context, that doesn't look great. <laughs> Recognize that drawing? <laughs> it's our attempt at making Juggernaut's mask uh, on the, the mask that we used in the Moon Cave. So if you follow that side quest through, there's also a reference to Akuma from Street Fighter and another beautiful Joe reference in there. I like that. <laughs> there are uh, there are three or four kids around town singing melodically like that. 
It's a nice little touch. That's so adorable. They do so much to make uh, Seon City feel alive and, and... God, it really doesn't look good. The drawing. We tried, given the constraints, but... The way it wraps... And also... <laughs> it just looks like a big titty monster. Can't really beat around that bush. <laughs> Let's test out our Inferno ability to get treasure quickly. And over here, tucked away in the corner, by the canal, this is the last thing I want to do in the city before we move on to catching up with Kaguya in the Sasa Sanctuary. Uh, there's a house over here, shaped like a giant treasure chest, and there is a, a vulnerable wall that you can blow up with a cherry bomb to get inside. And inside, of course, there are a boatload of treasures to collect. Uh, there's also something pretty important in here, and something that's not even that far out of the way, so it's entirely worth your time coming in here. I mean, just for the yen alone. But also, if we get up to the second floor... First, I'm just going to finish grabbing all this. Then up to the second floor. There's a chest up here, but don't stop at the crystal. Because there's an important orange in that, sh <laughs> that shell. Uh, no, that is not what we came here for. I mean, not the priority, anyway. Because... If we look over here, there is another chest behind the bars. So, we come up and we cross the beams. And get another sun fragment. Alright, so we are gonna, I think, start the next episode uh, on the road to Sasa Sanctuary. So there will be a little jump from where we leave off to there. Just so we don't have to do quite so much on-camera backtracking to get there. So that's going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.